right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to uh, retopologize the enemy inside of here. So I'm just going to do file, um, uh, import. Actually, before I even do this, make sure that underneath window, settings, preferences, plugin manager, that you have um, the OBJ export on because that's what we export it as. Okay, so you make sure that's on. Then do file import. It should be on once you've turned it on, but just in the future. Um, so import, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab the RIA OBJ. And here it is. All right, I'm going to turn off my waffle. Uh, good. So now I'm going to do some retopologize over top of this. So I'm going to select it. And I am going to make it a live surface by pressing on the magnet. So now this is now the live surface. You can see I can't even select it. I'm going to go to my modeling toolkit. And I'm going to go ahead and do quad draw. And I'm basically going to draw around all the different pieces here. So I'm going to go ahead and with the leg here, go, um, go boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I'm going like basically from here to the middle, then here, which is like the middle of the leg, then to the middle of this, and then the middle of the leg here. I'm going to click and drag this there. Um, and then there should be one here and one in between, oops, there and there. Okay, so basically I just drew my loop all the way around, and now I'm going to draw the other part of it. So basically the complement to each one of these, let's put this here. Okay, like so. All right, and there, and there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do is hold shift, and you see uh, when I hover over it, it'll make a quad. And I'll hold shift, hold shift, hold shift. Let's try that again. Hold shift, hold shift, hold shift, and hold shift. Okay, so now I have that uh, a nice loop going around there. Um, that looks uh, fine for the beginning of the leg, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, and now I'm going to basically work on the rest of this. So um, in order to see this a little bit better, I'm just going to go to shading and just go ahead and do x-ray. And let's see if I do x-ray. Let's turn it off. Let's see if I do x-ray active components. Nah, that doesn't work. So we'll just do shading um, x-ray. Okay. And so basically I'm just going to draw to the middle line here. Here, hold shift. Here, hold shift. All right, and I'm going to picture, let's see, here and here, something like that, like that, put one here, all right, and we'll kind of do the same thing here, hold, oops, hold shift, and put one here, good, okay, so now we got that kind of going around. Um, and I'm just going to make a big one here. Boom. Just to get across. I'll probably have to add more in there afterwards. I'm just trying to get to the end here. Good. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and add one there. And so we'll do two. So we'll put one here. And then we'll do another split here. Okay. And split here. Okay. Boom. And oops. Boom. All right. And I'm just going to kind of take that, pull that down, and that looks pretty uh, adequate. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take this and put this right at the base of the uh, wing here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the tip of the wing here. So hold shift, boom, shift, boom, shift, boom, shift. So something like that, and we'll just kind of go around this, okay, to here, and then I'm just going to go here, all the way around this major shape, all right, and let's go ahead and just snap that to there, and put one here, boom, okay. So now I have this interior I'll have to fill at some point, but I'll worry about that in a little bit. I'm going to go around the wing over here. And we'll shift. Shift. And like that. We'll shift. Good. All right. It goes up a little bit higher. We'll shift. And we'll go one more. Okay. Shift. Okay. So we'll say that's 
base of the wing. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing we did before. I'm going to go boom, boom. And I'm going to go the halfway for each one of these. All right, so basically this is a halfway side. It's going to be halfway here and halfway there. And then I'm just going to put one in between each one of those. So boom, then boom. Oops, I'm holding shift to fill in each one of these. There you go. So now I have the base of the neck. All right, and that looks okay. Um, it's going to go ahead and have it... Um, Split, boom, boom, and we're just gonna take this one down a little bit. I'm gonna go boom and boom, and like this, okay. And we go boom and boom, hold shift, take out a little bit, shift, okay. And that's looking a little bit better, so we're just gonna go ahead and try to get this to connect to the other side here. Good, so that's all connected. And I'm just going to go ahead and basically um, work on creating the line this way. And I'm going to make them too long. It's fine. I'm just trying to get to the other side here so that we get everything basically connected. Oops, that was bad. Hold shift. Hold shift. Okay. Shift and shift. Okay, good. Now all the pieces are generally kind of connected. Um, that looks all right. Um, now uh, what I'm going to do is, I guess I'll just try to finish this piece first. So um, let's see what we can do here. So I'm looking at this and uh, this can actually be a spot. And I'm thinking here, we'll do one. Okay, and maybe go like that, put one here, and then hold shift there, and let's see, yeah, there we go, this and this. Now I'm going to hold shift and click and drag, and you see it, that's, um, it's relaxed, it will relax the form, and that helps, good, so we filled in that spot, now I just need to do the kind of the same thing here, so boom, 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 and we go boom, boom. Boom, 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 and we'll do one here, and here, and here, and again, one here, and then one here, boom, boom, I'm going to hold shift and just smooth this out, that looks good, a little bit there too, and boom, 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 let's hold shift and just smooth that, good, and... Let's see, we'll again go doink and doink, okay, and I guess I'll just kind of pull this one down and over a little, pull this one up and over a little, and let's see, we need to fill in some of this here, so um, I'm thinking to probably do something like this just for the first little bit here. All right, so I'm just clicking and add in. Okay, something like that. All right, that looks okay. So we'll just kind of continue that. Boom, 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 boom. Oops, not that one. Boom, and we'll do one here. And. Gonna add a bunch in here. Down back a little. Take this one back a little. One here. One here. And we'll go here. I'm gonna take this up. Put one here. And boom, 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 boom. So all the way. Oops. Control Z. So now I've got that basic thing going on. So I'm going to put one here and we'll kind of pull this down and there and there, here and here, here. And I'm going to hold control and add one there. So it's like that. And yeah, we're going to undo that. 
and we'll, hmm, I'm not sure how I want to do this. Let's do that, and then we'll do this, and then that. That's a little bit better. Okay, and I'm just going to add a bunch in here. That looks fine. Okay. These are all a little bit off. Okay, boom, 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 and boom. Like that. And then I'm going to hold control so I can have one there. So I'm going to hold. Oh, you can see I need to add uh, something in there. Okay, so partly in between here. Uh, let's see. And I don't really have that spot there. So I'm going to click this one. Hold shift. Control here. Boom. Pull that back. Boom. Hold control. Hold shift. 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 And then you can see here I'm going to run into an issue. So I'm thinking I could probably um, do something. Like I have this one here, but I don't feel like it's doing it up here. So I'm going to hold uh, control and shift and delete that and delete this one. And what we're going to do is uh, take this and snap that one there. Take this one, snap that one there. Oops. All right, we'll just grab this, snap it there. And then, um, you know, well, I don't want to do that. Put this here. And let's see, put that there. Hmm. Let's see. Put this here like that. I'm just trying to see how I can get this to be what I would like. Hmm. Let's see, if I hold control, it's going to add one there, which I don't want. So I'm hold control and shift to undo that. Hmm. Oh, I'll just take this and snap that down there. There we go. And we'll pull that up, and voila. All right. Uh, this one in general, I'm going to take these and pull these. Oops, not like that. Take this and pull this more to the base of the neck. And same thing with this. Okay. So I got an okay thing going on there. So what I'm going to do here, actually, is uh, instead of drawing this all manually down, because this is more or less just a cylinder, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Q, and I'm going to go to the edge mode. I'm going to double-click this edge loop, and I'm going to hit extrude, and I'm going to hit W for the move tool, and I'll pull it down, and you can see it's getting kind of wonky, so I'm going to scale it flat, and then I'll move it down again, and it's getting a bit more wonk, so... Uh, it's really not doing a very good job. All right, so I'm just going to have to manually move these around to make sure that they are not uh, sliding where I don't want them to. All right, so um, you might have to do the same thing. All right. And there, good. And this one's got to go over here. Voila. And let's see. This guy here has got to go over there. And this one's got to go over here. And this ended up taking just as long anyway. Um, and that looks okay. So I'm going to go back to edges. And I'm just going to go ahead and G since this is the last thing I did. I'm going to W and move it down. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here. Okay. Like so. I'm going to scale it flat. And then I'm going to try and move it again. And hopefully it will try to like stick with it. Which it looks like it did an okay job. And, uh, and now what I can do is I can use my multi-cut tool here and hold control. And then you'll see it makes the line. But if I double click on it then use the move tool it'll snap. So I'm going to pull it over and try to snap it to um, the correct area, but it's kind of doing a terrible job. So let's undo that, and let's try using the quad draw on this. And let's hold control. That did even worse. Okay, let's hold control. Um, double, oh, it won't let me double click on that. Can I click and drag? No, it won't. Hmm. Let's see if we can just work 